So, I wish I knew who you were. I mean, apart from the imaginings, I had preconceived ideas, which surely would add up to a lot. But, I mean, I even think, in the, I even think anthropomorphosis is bad. I mean, I've even got, I even pulled up, it's quite an awkward looking video to watch. You might have actually seen it. But there's a video, it's called Memories, I think it's called Memories of My non colic Copy Machine. And basically it tells our story. It's not perfectly contiguous, it has to be, it's not, you know, as in it doesn't flow exactly the same. But basically it's about a copier, a little copier machine. Well, it's not little, it's quite large. And a man wants to make photocopies of his documents. He's made to do some photocopies. And basically what happens, oh, well, I'll go into detail, but it goes for about 13 minutes. Um, I basically, I think I would have favorited it on both my channels. Um, basically, hmm, stuff from the teeth there. You want to pick it out for me? <laughs> Yuck. All right. And it basically, it, it tells a story where a man, um, he has to photocopy documents and Pardon me, silly little silly goons from the office who are party animals decide to have a bit of harass him. Now, this guy's a lonely office worker, I think it's you, as in symbolistically. And then what happens? He has to photocopy documents for his boss. And what happens? These goons come and break into the copy room and they push him over and his documents and they decide to go, Yeah, let's have a party! And guess what they do? One of the guys decides to sit on the copier. You know what that means, don't you, Millie G? People wanting to take advantage of me. Where did my phone People want to take advantage of me, right? Or they just want to sleaze onto me, crack onto me. It doesn't happen too often with the glasses now. And if I don't talk too much, I don't get too much. It's rare now, because I can't see my pretty blue eyes or the pretty green eyes. So basically this story goes like that. And of course the man gets pushed over, I think, after that, or something along those lines. And, and well, actually when the man sees the, the copier being, what, I'm trying to think how it goes. Well, you see, he's been pushed over and, or something and he sees the copier had been sat on or something, I forgot how. It, basically, his heart, he, he falls over and he feels this jump in his heart, it's like he felt sorry for this little copier. It's not little, it's quite large, it's a nice little machine, but it's pretty dilapidated like I was. And what happens when he's cleaned the machine up? He gets there, he's cleaned the glass, and he's pretty angry, he's pretty upset, or he's frustrated. So he cleans the platen of the thing, and the copier responds, and it's like, oh, I love you, sort of thing. Oh. And then, of course, they have a bit of a dialogue here, well, of sorts. And she's spitting out all these messages, and then there's a scene where it gets really hot and it, it sounds, it's terrible, it doesn't sit perfectly right with me at all, it makes me feel, <laughs> feel it's like it's really bad, but the man, well, you probably did this in your head. Well, he's not, he still has his underwear on, which is good, or it's like they're like trunks, which is good because I don't think I wanted to see it. It would have been terrible if it was done naked, it would have been terrible, but it looked pretty bad as it was, and the man ends up making love to the copier. He jumps up on top of her and makes love to her. It's like, oh man, this is terrible. This is, this is oh, this is like, oh. And of course he gets off and off the machine and yes, he does get, well, you know what I mean? He's, he's having a good, he's having, he's, he's getting into it, Luigi. Like he wanted to get into it with me, didn't you, 20 years ago? Oh, it's off.